Welcome back to the devlog of developing Pixel Art Academy Learn Mode. First time we're back after the uh, release, the early access release, and it's uh, been going amazing. Bottom line is I'm able to work on the game now full time. So it's just gonna be more and more and more content into this game. And uh, thanks to all of the people that have bought the game and left comments, left reviews, left bug reports, left ideas for improvements and I was able to pinpoint a few problem areas let's call them that uh, most players have been stuck at so we're gonna do some improvements of tutorials today as we plan the next sprint so I spent some time now uh, designing the lessons the things that we're gonna be changing there needs to be a system for marking up the interface then we're going to break the diagonals evaluation lesson and then finally we are also gonna create three new pixel art curves lessons that are slowly going to explain how the different parts of the evaluation paper are happening i've prepared all of the tasks in the codex task tracking tool and i think we are ready to go for it a week is over and I have had good progress. It's so nice to be working on the game again on like the new content, new features oh, and to record a vlog. Let's take a look. All of the tasks, all the high priority tasks are done. This was the new interface markup system. So let's take a look at how this looks in practice. Here we go. In the drawing app, I have included this new system in the uh, two tutorials in the line art cleanup. This is where you first get introduced to the pixel art evaluation. And this is where a lot of people got stuck. So here, let's draw this line. And now it says you can now open the pixel art evaluation paper in the bottom right corner. Usually people didn't have problem with this, but still here you can see this click here in the bottom right corner. This is what I'm talking about. I needed a way to have this sort of things that are pointing at things in the user interface. Click over here. And this is where the first problem appeared because people read oh lines are single pixel perfect when they don't have any doubles or other corners and they would just go back and start removing all the doubles but then the tutorial wouldn't finish because they didn't read usually sometimes if people read very fast uh, they wouldn't read these instructions click on the pixel perfect lines criterion below to see individual problems i also added an empty line here in between so that it's easier to see okay so this is an explanation but this is sort of a call to action what you should do so it's visually separated and now also it says click here it has little outline where you need to click so it's just very obvious what you need to do even if you don't read the text and you just like scan oh okay it says hover here even if you just did not read this so hopefully this feature will help more people be able to play the game and progress through those tutorials and now i'm gonna go and actually create some new lessons see you in another week well here we are the sprint is pretty much over let's take a look how much we did all the high priority stuff and most of the medium stuff i've done all the curves lessons i just finished the new diagonals lesson that really needed to be replaced so let's take a look at it if you forgot how this used to look like it was so bad i actually had to put a pinned post up here i just posted a solution video this is the reminder of uh, how approximately it went it was uh, a lot of information at once in one thing and so let's see if i've done a better job i hope so so here we are in the new pixel art diagonals uh, menu and here is where the previous one would come and now it learn how the pixel art evaluation paper can help you identify types of diagonals so it's going to focus just on the different types of diagonals based on their segment lengths and so here it just got, gives you the lines to draw it's uh, simple enough we just shift click we will click on the even diagonals criteria. We can see now here that we have even diagonals and we, if we hover it over, then it tells us as well. You can see it's two, 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 two all across. That's what makes a diagonal even in pixel art. So the other two are uneven ones. So here introduces the alternating diagonals, which you just have two lengths that alternate between each other. 
and then others are the broken ones so if we hover here it has this like stair very pronounced stairway effect and so here we're gonna see another example so we will also draw this line here and you can see that if I just use this default Bresenham drawing algorithm, it will give us a diagonal that has two and three segments. However, they are unnecessarily broken into groups because look at here, we have three, three and two, two. So instead of nicely alternating, you just created this little bump here. And uh, let's see if we can fix it by using the two, three, two, three. This one has to go into two and then three and then two. And now we can keep on going to the next one now we've learned how this alternation works so let's see if we can do the same here so this one is now three five six so let's see if we can do four five four five four there we go so the percentage score for this line see we got 90 percent versus the previous one which was 83 percent and it's higher because the longer these segments are the less it is noticeable that the segments are alternating here it asks you to finish by drawing an even one five diagonal for comparison so let's go here we can of course use the constraint uh, to just draw it directly four and five length of segments is close enough that you don't really see it that much so if you look at it here especially if you zoom out yeah it's not that it's not that bad right and then the higher it goes you can't really notice it anymore so now let's take a look at what the curves tutorials look like this time i wanted to introduce each one of the criteria for smooth curves individually because otherwise it was just a lot of knowledge at once so here we will first take a look at abrupt segment lengths this one asks us to draw the curve uh, by closely following so we just needs to be a pixel per pixel perfect curve so we, if you just do this you're gonna be you know you're gonna be missing stuff we can now open the pixel art evaluation paper and here you can see it gives us the little curve indicator just like in the diagonal ones we can hover over them to see the length segments 100% uh, smooth great and we can go to the next one here we do the same thing closely follow everything and when we open up we can see that this one shows a little problem over there and it explains it that there is an abrupt change in segment lengths going from two to six Due to the repeating two beforehand, so we have two, two, six. This two repeats, and this is a major jump that can always be improved by trading pixels from the longer to the shorter segment. So from this six, we can trade it to the two, and then it will become two, three, five, right? So very, very straightforward. We move this one down, and you know we fixed it. So there's no that jump anymore. Let's do this one as well. Same thing, but because it's the jump isn't that big this time around. The relative differences are smaller and these segments are longer. Uh, but still the same thing applies. Instead of 337, we can do 346. So we move it down and there we go. Next one up is the straight parts criterion and it shows you that we have a straight part in the middle right there. So here I did this little visualization. You can see that the intended line always curves, keeps on curving, there's no flat part. But because this middle segment, this central segment here is very long, if we just look at this pixel art line, it's just, this is so long that it just appears flat. One way to fix this is we just push this central part out. We'll do something like this, delete it here. And then finally, we have this thing. There we go. Lines can also end with too long or too many repeating segments. Because it ends on two to two, it's almost like an even diagonal. So this ending part is feels a little bit too straight. And then this one just has a very long final segment. And so how do we address this wall? We just push stuff out, just like we did before. Final one of the criteria is the inflection points. When we draw curves freehand, like the general placement will be correct, but the line can end up wobbly, especially when we are cleaning up a line. And look at this. This now line looks just a little bit wobbly. It's kind of like if you had a shaky line when you're drawing with pencil. 
and it starts showing these little dots these are the inflection points so if we hover here we can see that at every inflection point that's where the curve changes from clockwise to counterclockwise depending on which side you're looking from and so it asks us hey let's remove some of these inflection points so that we only have the ones that are necessary like this is a sort of an S curve so there will be some inflection points have to have them but not as many as we have so if we move things here so that it's a nice you know four three two one this one again one one two three you know and that's how we are getting rid of all of these inflection points here this one is necessary and then this one here was unnecessary and there we go so hopefully by doing this three criteria in isolation you will be then when people get to the line art cleanup lesson it will be much easier to when you all of a sudden see all of these things at once so i hope you will have fun testing out these tutorials for yourself going through them i will see you in the next development sprint